couple months ago, I was down in uh, Phoenix for the Southwest Nationals. And while walking around the firing line, I came across uh, a friend of mine uh, who happens to run Reloading International. And he had a spotting scope set up with a uh, cell phone on it. And I think we've all seen, there's a couple different brands out there of cell phone adapters for spotting scopes and things like that. Um, But to be honest, I've never really liked any of them. I've tried a few of them. I had a digital one for a while, but it was pretty pixelated compared to what I need in order to see Mirage and and things like that, uh, especially for trying to do videos for you guys and things like that. So I was talking to him and we were, you know, kind of talking about the adapter he had. And he said, without a doubt, it is the easiest one he's ever used. And uh, they actually are adding it to the website. Uh, I will put a link down there below. And he said, you really should try this thing out. I'll send you one when I get back uh, to the shop. And I said, okay, that's fine. So the next day he goes, you know what, here, uh, just take the one I'm using and go play with it. And uh, if you like it, make a video and, and stuff like that. So full disclosure, I did not pay for this particular unit. Uh, so I have been able to play with it. And I did like it enough that I absolutely wanted to make a video on it. So here's the thing. Uh, Using your cell phone is probably going to get you the easiest, clearest picture. But there's a lot of times where it's tough to get the phone mounted upright, uh, lined upright, um, consistently getting your phone in and out, things like that. So here's how this works. It's made by Novagrade and it's got uh, two sets of grippers on it. And the grippers are adjustable so that you can move them up and down along the axis of uh, this piece here. And your cell phone is going to rest on the back side here. And then this is adjustable. It swings around. I've got it tightened down because it fits my phone right here. But it acts as a stop so that you can easily slide your phone right in. Uh, In fact, I will just show you here. So let me turn on the video. So just for the sake of showing you um, it just fits right in there and you know it's working right because uh, you can see that video works so that's the first thing that makes it easy about setting up you don't have to have it on the camera right away Uh, you can actually get it all set up right here and as long as you have a clear picture here it's going to work on here Uh, you may have to tweak it just a hair but um, my experience has been that as long as you're getting a good picture here it's going to work perfectly here so you would simply loosen these up and then um, put your camera in. Before we do this though, let me show you all of the adopt, uh, adapter options that it comes with. It's got a pretty simple set of instructions. Um, it's nothing too bad. And this happens to be called the standard double gripper phone adapter. Um, and it's at this time, it's I think it's like 170 or something like that. Anyway, uh, it comes with four different uh, collet systems and then two additional compression rings. My particular scope has a really big eyepiece on it, so I actually needed the thinnest collet uh, and no compression ring, but this combination, I actually used it. It doesn't work great, but I just wanted to see what it would do. I actually was able to fit uh, on a rifle scope. Um, It doesn't have the right uh, eye relief to work right, but I just wanted to see, like, in terms of diameter, what it would do. And, you know, is able to fit great. So these four collets and then the compression rings give you a really wide range of what this will fit on. And it makes life really easy. So anyway, all I need is this large, uh, thin one here. And I just get it partially started. And then that just slips over and you just tighten it down. Okay, so now, now it's nice and fixed on there. And then you can adjust it so that it is um, horizontal to your, your picture. So here's what I'm going to do real quick. And I've got a bunch of other video. So I'm, I'm starting the recording right now. And then let me just bring my camera around so that you can see what I'm doing with it here. So a little bit of glare, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, but you can see that this is the native uh, one power of... My this is an iPhone 13. It'll you can pretty much adjust it to any phone, Androids, iPhones, it don't matter. Um, but uh, you'll notice that it is uh, cropped on the sides here because it is at single power. Now, what's nice is you can still utilize the pinch function on your phone, and so this uh, this phone happens to go up to three power telephoto 
uh, non-digital. And so it still has a very crisp, clear picture. And I just find that it's really easy to use. Obviously, I can start or stop my camera as needed. If I wanted to take a photo, same thing. I could zoom in and I could take a photo if I wanted to. Uh, I could even do the cinematic mode if I wanted to. So it gives you a lot of options. Uh, the easiest thing at this point would be for me to just show you a bunch of, let's just call it B-roll that I took at 100 yards, at 600 yards, and at 1,000 yards. And I think it gives you a really good idea of what this is capable of. But here's where I'm most excited, and I tried to capture it best I could on some of the video you're going to watch here. It is the first time I've been able to use my spotting scope and really capture detailed mirage with it. Uh, my club does not have great mirage, so the fact that you can even see the mirage with this uh, in the video I'm going to show you uh, really highlights uh, just how this combination really works well. Uh, when I was out at the 1,000-yard line the other day, there wasn't any mirage to look at, so I wasn't able to film that. Uh, but the idea that you can do that is fantastic, and you will see just how clear at 1,000 yards this is. Keep in mind, I am using a fixed 25-power uh, lens, so uh, it's just a 25-power, and then I'm just zooming in up to three times uh, when you watch the videos. For hunting or bird watching or anything else, if you're scoring... Uh, you can't obviously use it at a match because electronics aren't allowed in this fashion on the line. But if you were, you know, behind the line, uh, you know, if you if it wasn't your turn to score or shoot and you wanted to watch with this, it gives you just incredible detail uh, to be able to see what's going on. Um, I don't know. Like to me, it's it's totally worth it. Uh, I've got a buddy that already bought one uh, for hunting, uh, for prairie dogging. Uh, another one is buying one for going out and doing you know more long range hunting and stuff like that. But the the stress that it takes off of your eyes, if you are, you know, out watching, let's say, um, and you've got, you know, something and, and again I'm I'm only at maybe a hundred yards to this tree line. But if you were looking over a valley or, you know, uh, out on, on some area where you had a wider field of view the ability to sit there and maybe eat your lunch or hang out with your friends and still be spotting and looking for detailed picture is pretty incredible. So let me turn this off. And, you know, there's really not much else to show. I, I wish that I could make it more complicated, but it just isn't. Uh, it's just a very simple, um, really simple device to use. Uh, so let's take a look at some of that B-roll. And, uh, you know, I don't have much else to say. Uh, I'll put a link below. If this looks like something that would work great for you, uh, I will just tell you out of any of the adapters I've used, it is without a doubt the easiest, simplest, and best functioning one that I've ever had on my spotting scope. So, And, and, and I'm not saying that because I got it for free. Like, It's great that he let me have it. Uh, I would honestly pay for this without a problem uh, just because of the functionality of it. Uh, I'm going to really be, I think you guys are really going to be able to see some great videos as a result of this and uh and you'll really recognize the ability that this thing gives the shooter uh one last thing i'll just point out it's really stable so even if i'm kind of bouncing around my spotting scope if it's you know i'm trying to move it around or do whatever i need to do you know you can see over here i've got part of an apple tree sticking out and i can refocus on it um you know the ability to move it around and not have this get all wonky uh is especially for hunters i think is going to be amazing uh, you just, you know, again, tighten down these back screws. This gets tightened down with just a Phillips head, and you're good to go. So let's take a look at some of that uh, other video, and uh, here you go. And uh, this is out at the 600-yard line. So this is at the fixed one power of the camera. You can see how there's a black ring around the outside. Uh, but that pit right there with the steel in it on the right, that's at about 585 yards. Uh, those flags are about 300 yards away, and um, that flag is, is about 300 yards away, so it's about half the halfway point. And you can see me focusing in and out of it, and uh, I'll come back across the line here. Uh, but just crazy crystal clear. You know, I'm, I'm focusing on those particular flags right now. And uh, again, they're not they're not super far away, but you can see in the background. Obviously, it's blurred a little bit since I'm focused closer up. And then if I zoom, if I if I focus back out there, 
Um, you know, you can see it. Uh, if you remember, I'm on a fixed 25 power also, so keep in mind if you had a higher zoom, you'd be able to obviously get in a little tighter on this. All right, I dropped the background audio on this one because there were a bunch of guys talking while I was doing this, but this is going to be a really good example. You can actually see the Mirage running left to right. Uh, if you look towards the target boards at those berms, you'll see the, the Mirage running uh, from your left side to your right side. And then obviously I've got the flag crystal clear in the front here. Uh, and, and I'm kind of going in and out on the zoom. Uh, and we were starting to catch a shadow. So the, the, the Mirage was getting a little bit tougher. But the fact that you could even see it while zoomed in here, uh, I, I think it's just incredible. Uh, just the way the mount meets up with the uh, the spotting scope just really, I mean, it gives you the exact same field of view and, and picture and everything as you would with your eye. And uh, let me see, I think I was trying to get a little more, little more mirage here for you. Let's look and see real quick. Yeah, it was starting to, starting to fade out a little bit. So anyway, just a good example of what you can see with it at 600 yards on mirage. And here we are at 100 yards, and um, the autofocus was starting to kick in. I, I, I should have changed it just a little bit on its focal point, but um, you'll see it kind of stutter for a second. But uh, this is going to be me doing some, some group shooting. Uh, you'll see I adjust my, uh, my camera up uh, a minute, or my scope up a minute. So I'm now shooting above the red dot uh, now that I'm doing some kind of validation test. So these are just all three shot groups that I was doing for fun here on, uh, on a test. But at 100 yards, and this is zoomed in, you know, pinching on the on the phone to zoom in, you know, it just gives you a really good example of, you know, even at 100 yards, this would be great. You know, less eye strain. You could just have this sitting next to you. You could be watching your phone, um, you know, and, and being able to record exactly what you are doing. It records your audio. So if you want to talk to yourself about what you're doing during each of these tests, uh, I'm just really excited because I'm going to be using this. Uh, I think it's going to give me a really good opportunity to um, to record some really cool videos that I wasn't able to do before. And uh, I don't know. That's uh, that's about it. Let's see. Uh, the next one is going to be at a thousand yards, and it's not going to be to really show impacts on paper, but I think you'll still get a good idea of what it can do at a thousand yards. All right. And lastly, here we are at a thousand yards. So I've got it zoomed in on my phone, obviously. And my buddy was just uh, doing some right blow-offs between the two target frames. I had to uh, over he was the, off I just a little bit. There was a little more wind than we thought, and we're shooting pretty small targets up there um, with electronics. And um, so I think he was just outside the right side, so he wanted to take a couple shots. Where but you'll you notice uh, just under are, the are number seven board... Uh, you'll see the impact uh, come up yeah. here. There's two different, uh, two different impacts, uh, and it should be coming here in just a second. Yep, yep. there it is. That's so it. that shows you what can be done. Well, we'll just close it out with a little bit more of uh, my original shooting at 100 yards. Uh, you know, there's not much else to say about this. I think if you have a need for hunting, shooting, spotting, scoring, whatever it is where you would uh, like to have an iPhone attached, uh, give this one a chance because, uh, to be honest, it's just the best one I found on the market. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and we'll talk later.